We're back. What's up guys, I'm Rhett. Welcome back to Lawn Insider. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the steps I took to go from this and this to this. First, I just wanted to give a little life update for those of y'all who follow the channel pretty closely. You know that I try to upload once a week and I've been able to do that over the course of the two years that I've been on YouTube. I have uploaded one video a week every week, at least during the growing season, with the exception of last week. But I actually have a really good excuse for last week. My wife actually delivered our daughter six weeks prematurely, and my wife is doing great, and my daughter is really doing well too, all things considered, but she does have to spend a couple of weeks in the NICU, so last week was just a really crazy week. But right now, like I said, her health and everything, it's on the right trajectory. Lungs are getting healthier, I and mean, she's a good healthy weight. So we're hoping that we're gonna be able to, to bring her home here in the next week or so. So naturally, we're very excited about that. We're adding from now a family of three with our, our son, who's only 15 months old. Now we're going to have a little son and a baby daughter as well. So we're very excited about that, but I just wanted to kind of give y'all the exciting news, but also kind of let y'all know why I wasn't able to put a video out last week. And while we're at it, I think I've only given y'all one promo code for the Lawn Insider merch store for the entire season. So if you're interested in stocking up on some Lawn Insider gear, I wanted to go ahead and start another promo code. It's gonna be pigskin all caps in honor of the fact that high school football season has officially kicked off. And if y'all didn't know my primary occupation, I'm a high school teacher and a coach. I coach football and baseball. So use that promo code pigskin. You'll get free shipping on everything in your cart. And I'll link that in the description box below the video. All right, it's time to talk grass. So just to give you all a quick rundown on exactly what the lawn is recovering from, around the 4th of July, we did a leveling project and we used five yards of mason sand and my lawn is just over 4,000 square feet. So we laid it on pretty thick and then naturally shortly thereafter, I got surgery and I was sidelined for a couple of weeks and was unable to work on the yard. And then when I finally did get cleared, naturally, the grass had kind of gotten definitely higher than what I'm accustomed to and what I like to keep it at in my own lawn. So I pulled out the rotary mower and I brought it down to an inch and a half. Uh, and then it looked something like this. And then on top of all that, what was going on in kind of in the background from mother nature is that we were just getting constant 100 plus degree days and no rain. And on top of that no rain, the city I'm in, I'm in New Braunfels, they put in place water restrictions at the end of June that still haven't been lifted. And I'm only able to water once every other week right now. So the odds have been stacked against us, but we have overcome. And following that rotary mow, I actually put out a video where I went over the basic outline that I was gonna use to try to get the yard back to looking its best. And what you are about to see are the fruits of that labor. And here is the front lawn currently. And I wish we had more sunlight right now. I'm having to shoot this pretty late in the day. But if we had a little bit more light, you could really see just how good it looked. Unfortunately, when we get darker, the GoPro doesn't do quite as well with its picture. But hopefully, y'all can see that the grass has recovered really, really well. Side yard is looking really good too, but I'm gonna go ahead and take us back to the backyard probably for the remainder of the video, just because that's where most of the light is right now. Okay, you can see that the long shadows are creeping in here, but here is the backyard. And again, the recovery has gone really, really well back here too. Let me give you a ground level shot of the grass. And hopefully you can see we have a really nice tight carpet look pretty much looks like artificial turf. Okay, so let's cover the steps that I took to get it from looking like it did in those videos from a few weeks ago to get it to the point that it's at right now. So the things that I most credit the recovery to are basically universal across Bermuda grass. And it's like hitting that reset button and allowing you to get yourself and your lawn started on the right foot. So the first thing that I did, and I made sure that this was on a watering week, because remember we had those restrictions or we still have those restrictions, um, was I scalped down my lawn. So after I brought it down to an inch and a half with the rotary mower, 
I pulled out the Greensmaster and I scalped it down to three tenths of an inch or around three tenths of an inch. Just for reference, I maintain my yard at just a hair over a half an inch. So it's important that you're scalping it below what you plan on maintaining it at. But after I scalped it, I also put out a fertilizer because I knew I was gonna be able to water it in. Up to this point, I've only put down a granular and the fertilizer I used is the 7020 Stress Blend from Yard Mastery. You absolutely do not have to use the latest and greatest Yard Mastery product to get a really, really nice lawn, but they do happen to be the products that I've used in my lawn this year and they have helped yield the results that you've seen over the last couple of minutes in this video. If you're interested in checking out those products or just checking out any of the products that I use, I'll leave a link to all that in the description box below the video. After scalping and fertilizing, it really just comes down to watering and mowing as often as possible. And if you don't have drought restrictions, the rule of thumb is that you're trying to get down an inch and an inch and a half of water in your lawn every week. And that can come from your irrigation system or rain. And this is kind of where the sort of little bit of relief that we've had from mother nature came in. And luckily it came in on a non-watering week. So the last probably about 10 days, We've had three really brief rainstorms and we've gotten probably about three quarters of an inch of rain. And even that small amount of rain has made a huge, huge, huge difference in the lawn. And while we're on the topic of watering, I would be interested in learning if you guys are willing to share anyway, what does your average water bill look like this time of year, just over the summer in general? Mine's actually lower than it ever has been due to these watering restrictions. But if you would, or if you're willing to in the comment section below, just leave me that cost, the size of your yard and where you're located. And then as far as mowing goes, you just need to get out and mow basically as often as your schedule will allow because the way that Bermuda grass grows, only about the top third of the plant is green. And if you let it get away from you, you're either going to have to scalp again to reset everything, or you're gonna to have to raise your height of cut. And remember Bermuda grass likes to, or prefers to be mowed at a lower height of cut. So in order to maintain that, you're gonna to have to get out and mow as often as you can. And guys, that is literally all I've done up to this point. I didn't put out any Humix. I didn't put out any liquid iron products, anything like that. It's literally just been that one granular application and then water and mowing. And it all starts with that scalp because that scalp allows you, again, just to hit that reset button and then get everything started out headed in the right direction. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you're enjoying the content and you wanna to continue to see more of it, hit that red subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those in the comment section below. I'll see y'all again next week. Lawn Insider, out.